What's up, you guys? Batchack JW coming to you. Um, Magnum Force. Uh, <laughs> this has actually been a video a long time coming. I can't believe we're actually finally filming it. Um, it's been an idea kicking around on the channel uh, longer than you probably think. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Magnum Force, the guns of Magnum Force. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the second Dirty Harry movie, okay? Now, before I get started here, um, Let's just get this out. Um, people buy guns for different reasons. Um, I'm a gun enthusiast. Hence, I think somebody's got a great channel about that. <laughs> anyway, no, I, I, I love guns. And I, I, I love all types of guns. I don't just say that, you know, oh, well, uh, I'm only into this kind of gun or this type of gun. Okay, I like all guns. Um, and for the most part, uh, being kind of a gun, you know, fan, I guess you could say, I've also been inspired by a lot of movies. Some people just don't get that. Um, if you don't, turn off the video. You don't have to watch it. Um, some people think that's sad. Well, I say, you know what, whatever in life makes you happy, you better run. Don't walk and don't, I don't care what it is because you know what, brother, life is too short, okay, to live there sitting in whatever you do. Okay, so um, what makes me happy is watching a cool old movie or something or a cool movie and going, you know what, I kind of want that gun and going out and buying it. Uh, that's what makes me happy. If it makes you happy, go do it. You should have did it yesterday. All right. So the Magnum Force movie is one of my favorite movies um, because of a lot of reasons. As you guys know, I'm a revolver fan. I love revolvers. So if you too like revolvers and you have not seen that movie, that movie may want make you go out and buy a couple of revolvers because there is so much cool revolver action, speed loader uh, action in it. it it's just uh, it's absolutely great. So first of all, what do we got? Uh, and of course, the, the the beginning of the movie starts off with Dirty Harry's 44 Magnum. Magnum up close on the screen against red background that is where my love on red background with the gun comes from um, if you watch I have a video called Magnum Force already uh, where I did the uh, little uh, my skit play on a really horrible skit play on my favorite scene in the movie which is uh, the scene where Davis the motorcycle cop is uh, reloading his um, his Python, his Colt Python, and uh, shooting it down range. Anyway, check it out. I'll put the link in the video above here and in the description below, so check that out if you're interested. Um, no, it starts off, first of all, with uh, Dirty Harry's Magnum right there in the front of the screen, as big as life, and uh, if you have it in, uh, in Blu-ray, it looks even greater. Uh, but anyway, there it is, um, and that's the reason I bought it Model 29 of uh, Smith & Wesson because Dirty Harry, you know, it's just cool. And and you know what, as I started to uh, shoot the gun and get in, and what I shoot a lot of is 44 Special. For those of you that uh, don't know what that is, that's kind of like a, uh, uh, if you think about a 357 Magnum and a 38 Special. So it's kind of like the same principle, um, shooting a lighter uh, load in the uh, bigger gun. And as Dirty Harry would say it in Magnum Force, it gives them better control with this size gun and less recoil than the 357 Magnum wad cutters, right? Just right from the movie. So, uh, made it, and actually the more I started shooting the gun in that, uh, you know, with those kind of bullets through it and everything, uh, it just wound up being a really smooth shooter. And actually, as far as the double action revolver, the Model 29 became one of my favorites. Um, hence, I couldn't help myself but to buy another one, and this one's got the 8 and 3 8 barrel. Uh, this one here is a lot, uh, a lot bigger, and the holster actually uh, being a lefty isn't uh, hard enough. But uh, finding a holster for this size gun was not easy. And of course, we're having trouble right there on camera. This holster actually um, is spring as uh, loaded uh, as I was struggling with it. But uh, anyway, keeping it real. But uh, this thing is spring hinged. It it kind of has a uh, you just it pulls straight out really. Um, I don't like to do it too much because I don't want to wear the bluing out off of my gun. But uh, actually, when I got this holster, and I'm not complaining too much about it, it's the Bianchi X15. Um, being a lefty, it's it's hard enough to buy and find a lefty holster. Uh, I know this is not the exact same one that he had in the in his movies. Uh, I know it's kind of. I think the original one is made by a company called Lawman or something, and it's about 350 bucks or something like that. Um, they make it, and it looks exactly like the one he carried in the first couple of films. But um, if you actually watch, I believe it is 
sudden impact, his holster changed. In sudden impact is when his holster looks more like actually something like this, believe it or not. But anyway, back to it, it's spring hinge. So when I actually first got this, I had to um, wedge a big piece of rolled up, uh, uh, like a towel or shirt or something like that and put it in between this thing just to work the spring in because it was so just, I mean, it was ridiculously tight. Uh, so anyway, and moving on to the Colt Python, as um, we know, the uh, gun of choice, beautiful gun. I love the Colt Python. Uh, you don't really need to see Magnum Force to want to buy a Python. But uh, the movie definitely made it even more enticing for me, um, especially this, this configuration, the four inch barrel, because that's what they're carrying. The bad guys in the movie, if I'm giving it away, you might want to go watch a movie, shut this video off. Um, the bad guys, the motorcycle cops, this is what they're carrying. The Python in the four inch configuration. The handwork and everything in the Colt Python is just bar none. It's pretty high. It's pretty up there. Uh, these things are absolutely phenomenal. The action work and the shoot them, they're smooth. <laughs> very smooth. Very addicting, <laughs> but very expensive now. But, uh, you know, if I, if I kind of, you know, back when I was buying mine, I mean, it, paying what I was paying for them, I was hurting for that too. And now looking at the prices, I'm like, I should have just, you know, gripped my teeth and bought a couple more. <laughs> but anyway, I had bought this rig actually um, right after I bought the, the Python. So I've had this for a long time, actually. It, in fact, I've had it too long. It's starting to kind of show a little age and fall apart almost. But it's an old, I, I don't know the history on it because I bought it off Gun Broker, believe it or not. I bought it for pretty much a really good price. Um, it is right-handed. If you notice that when I did the, the Magnum Force video when we shot at the range, I had to draw this whole thing and, and shoot and do all that right-handed. Um, I'm not right-handed dominantly. I'm left. I'm a lefty. So, But anyway, this is a right-hand setup, so I didn't really care because I wanted it for the Dirty Harry thing. I went on uh, aftermarket and went to uh, Midway or something like that and bought these uh, speed loader pouches in the basket weave design as the rest of the holster and everything and the belt setup is the same and it already came with this this cool thing in the back with the held extra bullets I always thought that was cool I remember as a kid you know seeing uh, I think it was in the airport or something seeing a cop with that you know and so I always just you know I've always loved that that look so it's a cool belt um, it's a really neat rig because it is I, th I believe it's authentic it's a it's an actual police rig so and the holster was for a python or I mean it is her python what am I talking about it actually says python on it so the uh, the auction actually said oh if you want to be like uh, Rick Grimes from uh, The Walking Dead you know check this out but actually I was like I'm not buying it for that I'm buying it because of Magnum Force dirty hairy so actually let me show you guys over here real quick let me grab it um, the, just to show you a contrast um, we got another python here and this one is in a six inch barrel so you kind of see the uh, differences right there in barrel lengths what it makes it look like so of course in the movie there you know of course the being the magnum force movie is what we're talking about is um the four inch configuration for the bad guys and of course dirty harry it is classic six and a half or six or whatever um and i know that sometimes uh the posters or the some of the advertisements it looks like the barrel's longer i don't know how much merit there is to it, but don't hold me to every fact. But I heard that they did use the eight inch for, for a couple of the screenshots. Um, if you look at the poster of the Deadpool, um, I believe it's like a, a side silhouette or something of his face, uh, Clint Eastwood, and um, the gun is right beside him. And that gun has an awfully long barrel, and I believe it was this puppy right here, the uh, eight and three eighths. So both these guns shoot like you wouldn't believe, um, again, you know, uh, aside from the movie, the gun is a uh, is amazing. I shot actually uh, on camera. I did it a while back, and I shot a bowling pin at 80 yards with this gun with 44 specials. Um, check that out on the channel. Um, it's kind of an older video, but uh, I was actually uh, you can tell in the videos I was actually surprised it did it. Um, of course, well actually, I was surprised more like I did it. Um, the guns are accurate. Uh, it's just us that's not so. Anyway, but yeah, this is just the coolness of it, you know, just having the, the guns of my favorite movie, Magnum Force, you know, you got Dirty Harry, you got the motorcycle cops, you got the Colt Python and the Model 29, Smith & Wesson, and of course, the beautiful 
Colt Python with that ventilated rib and everything, the full under lug. And, you know, Colt um, did this because their guns are kind of looking a little dated, really, until they started to do this. You know, they had that extra nice, the hammer on these things are beautiful. And I've always liked that. And then, of course, that ventilated rib, you know, for those of you that are in a state where they won't allow you to have that, I'm really sorry. That really is a bummer because this is a cool gun. Uh, this thing is just absolutely amazing. Um, so, uh, and of course, you got Dirty Harry gun. This is a, it's an older one, but it's a, you know, it's, I think this is like 80, mid 80s. I think this one came out with the original grips. I got the original grips on both guns. I'm a big stickler on that. Got to be original with the grips and everything. But anyway, so, you know, wrapping up the video, but uh, some things that are different. Uh, well, of course, uh, some things that are similar. Uh, both these guns came out in what year? Guess what? 1955. Both these guns were produced by two separate companies, Colton Smith and Wesson. How about that? Um, of course, the uh, Model 29 had more uh, of a backing from who? Come on, guys. Elmer Keith, right? The infamous hunter and gun enthusiast, uh, Elmer Keith, was a big pusher for the, the, the Magnum. But guess what? It wasn't called the Model 29 in 1955 because they didn't really have the model numbers yet. So it didn't come out. It didn't, we, now we know it as the Model 29. But anyway, the Colt Python, same thing, 1955. Um, that's the cool thing. Some of the differences between them is, okay, um, Colts, when you uh, pull the trigger or pull the hammer back, they go clockwise. I bet you didn't know that, right? Huh? Yeah, Colts go clockwise. All right? And Smith and Wessons go counterclockwise. I tell you though that the, the this is not bad. The trigger pull on the on the Smith is I mean, Smith and Wessons have uh, you know, when that's why you know it's on my channel. I'm kind of a Smith and Wesson fanboy because they, they're, they're just when you pick up a Smith and compare it to something else, it just there is a difference. Um, I'm not trashing any other brands. I own a, a few other brands, um, you know, and I, of course I like Ruger because Ruger just makes a tank of a revolver. Um, but and then also, um, I tell you though, the the action on a Python. If you've never felt that, it's just I mean, it's amazing. It, uh, a lot of handwork went into these guns back then. You know, they were originally made for the cops and uh, collectors started getting a hold of them going, man, look at this thing, keep them in boxes and now look at that, they got a fortune on their hands. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there it is. I just wanted to kind of show it off, the guns of Magnum Force. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm uh, Batjack JW. I appreciate everybody that has been supporting the channel uh, in a positive way. So anyway, uh, definitely appreciate that. So leave your comments below. As always, if you got nothing nice to say, don't say it or I'll delete it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later in another video.